My name is Professor Pamela Gillis, Principal and Vice-Chancellor of Glasgow Caledonian University. Welcome to the first digital edition of Caledonian Plus magazine. This new approach for our alumni magazine has an interactive format, allowing you to watch video and listen to audio as well as enjoying articles as before. A modern, forward-thinking university, Glasgow Caledonian has always been eager to embrace new technological developments, and I'm glad this is being reflected in Caledonian Plus. This new digital edition of the magazine comes at a time of unprecedented excitement for our university. As I hope you are, are already aware, Nobel Laureate Professor Muhammad Yunus is the new Chancellor of Glasgow Caledonian University. The appointment of Professor Yunus, who is a world thought leader in social business and a global anti-poverty campaigner, underlines not only our enduring commitment to the common good, but our status as a globally networked institution. We look forward to honouring our new Chancellor at his installation ceremony in October. I was recently truly humbled to meet another of the world's most prominent campaigners for justice, Do Aung San Suu Kyi of Burma. I was delighted to have had the opportunity on behalf of Glasgow's Lord Provost to deliver an invitation to collect her long-delayed Freedom of the City Award in person. Meeting this incredible woman who was for so long detained under house arrest was a reminder of how we must value the freedoms and opportunities that we enjoy. And I'm delighted with the success of the university's new master's degree in human rights and citizenship, which has been co-created with the Scottish Council for Voluntary Organisations. This is also a time of great sporting celebration following the amazing success of the 2012 London Olympic Games. At the university, we have also been involved and one of our alumni, Laura Bartlett, delighted us all by winning a bronze medal in the women's hockey event. The university motto for the common wheel is reflected in the Tale of Two Sporting Cities project, recognised by the Olympic Committee as worthy of one of their inspire marks. The project, which will continue long after the Olympic Games, works with children and families, particularly those from deprived areas in both Glasgow and London to promote physical activity and sport. Lord Coe paid tribute to the project for giving children the opportunity to learn what he called the Olympic values of friendship, excellence and respect. Read more about this inspiring project along with some of our activities during the Olympic Games throughout this edition of the magazine. Glasgow Caledonian University is about to enter a period of growth in research in, and in our work with businesses and communities in Scotland and around the world. And as we work to embrace our full potential as an institution, we continue to value the continued support of you, our precious alumni. Do remember to stay in touch with us and also remember we are here if you need our help.